Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 13, part 13, part 12, part part something of Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon, part of the Reignited Trilogy. Today we'll be doing Fireworks Factory. Now also, if I sound different, it's because we did get a new mic, and it actually has a built-in pop filter. So hopefully this mic will be better than the one I had originally. And yeah, Fireworks Factory. This is the last level because it's the level that we technically can't 100% complete. If you guys watch my Spyro 2 Reignited playthrough uh, series, you guys would notice or remember her. Except this game actually got something wrong that the original did. Remember how in the original one of them had a speech impediment while the other one didn't? Yeah, well, they were supposed to be reversed in this game, but for whatever reason, they didn't reverse them, so I'm pretty sure she still has the the silly speech impediment. Now, those ninjas that don't drop gems mean that they respawn, because they come from up there, and yeah, there's nothing you could do about it. So let's see if she still has the weird voice. Funny thing is, is he is he's like where all the other eggs are. Like you know, like mini games like that. That's usually where he's hiding. Also, this level has a pretty decent background. It's still just a volcano. Why you would make fireworks in a volcano is beyond me. Because wouldn't that technically just be a explosion hazard? Like seriously, there's a good chance that everything would just explode. I wonder if we can make this. Oh, we can. I don't think I've ever went to this... <clears throat> excuse me. Platform. Uh, from that way before. Yeah, see, the ones that don't respawn will always drop gems. So you'll know if an enemy you kill respawns or not. That's why I always found Frozen Altars and Charmed Ridge to be really weird with those few specific enemies. Because they don't respawn... But at the same time, they don't drop gems, which... And I'm, and like I said before, that's not this remake at all, or I guess remaster. It's literally just how it was in the base game, too. Anyways, we have our first egg over here, which is Noodles. Who would name their child Noodles is beyond me, but maybe he's hit himself in the noodle, and that's why his name's Noodle? I don't know. Now these enemies are kind of interesting, because you have to flame them from behind if you can. But a lot of the time, they'll simply just turn around so you can't. And there's like little missiles you can use to kill them instead, if you're wondering. Where'd that ninja go? Oh, he went back up there for a second. Okay, so we need the missiles, which are found around this corner. And they're wood for whatever reason. Even more reason for them to explode. They were metal in the original game. But for some reason in this game, they made them wood. Even though you're in a volcano. You know, more groundbreaking logic. Is that a gem or a firefly? That's a firefly. That's a gem, though. Thing is, you want to get as many of these gems as possible. Because you can't get them all, so... The more you have, the less likely you are to screw up and miss some throughout the level. And he just turned into a colorful explosion. Also, you can check the ceilings to see if there's any ninjas up there just by using the zoom in feature. That way they don't sneak attack you. But if you go into a room, you can also see their shat- well, you could in the original. It doesn't really look like the, the shadows necessarily show up properly in this. Oh, come on down, guys. Come on. That's not even the one that I wanted. Oh my god. Okay, for some reason that time he just spun his bamboo pole around instead of actually attacking. Wait, what? Wait, how did you teleport behind me? You jumped off the cliff and then teleport. Okay. Free your mind, sure. How is jumping freeing your mind? You literally just jumped across a chasm. That's all you did. 
you didn't do any freeing your mind. All right. Let's go and collect more gems. So what's around here? Oh, one of the ninja boxes. Now, in the original, you couldn't break them like that. You actually had to, I think, hit them three times for them to break, including this. But for some reason, in this game, you can just headbutt them and they'll break. I'm pretty sure there's ninjas in here. Yeah, they removed the shadows that the ninjas have, for whatever reason. Yeah, they don't have shadows, because I'm pretty sure there's one more ninja in here, right? No? I guess that's it. How did I... Huh? I'm pretty sure there's two of these guys on this bridge, right? Yeah, because this is essentially the end of the level right there. A lot of levels, like I mentioned before, in this game are actually really short. They're just... They just have a lot more going on in them because of, like, the little mini-games than the other Spiral games. What kind of ninja has, like, a... Uh, an RPG machine gun? Oh, we already went in here? Yeah. Getting old, man. I'm forgetting where I've gone. That's always a green gem I forget, by the way. Including in the original. It's always kind of blended in. And we can go over there, but we might as well get the end of the level egg first. Because the, the, the challenges here to get the eggs are actually pretty difficult. They're not the most easy minigame areas. Though we are in the, the second half of the game, or... Oh, I see now. Good thing I came back here. I wish those fireflies didn't also blend in like gems, but... You know, whatever. And then I'm pretty sure... Oh, yeah. That poor egg. But why? Grady. Not even Brady, just Grady. What's with the Wockets? Not even Rockets, she just says Wockets. Now there's no gems down there. There isn't the... That animal, buddy. Spoiler alert, it's a monkey if you couldn't tell. But we can't do anything with that just yet. So before we go to that mini game over there where that gold gem is, there is this one over here. Which one's this one? Oh, it's this one. I'm pretty sure he said Rhinoc, but it was spelt Wynoc. For some reason, that they also made some of these guys way more dumb than others, but that one looks like we're gonna we're gonna need a missile launch or missile, a firework rocket for. You think the guys who shoot them would drop them? But sadly, no. Their sound effects are so funny when they come jumping out. Ha 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 ha. And. Okay, I think he got stuck and technically died. I don't think I was the one to actually kill him. I think he legitimately just got stuck. That was hilarious. Thank you for the gems. Five gems is... Wow, we're exactly at 5,100. That's not bad at all. All things considered. Now, there's this enemy here. This is actually a really easy one, and this could have just been part of the level. Because it's literally just like playing the normal level. There's, there's no actual challenge to this. Are you not... Oh, I thought he wasn't going to throw any bombs at me. I was like, well, what kind of enemy does that? Also, that's that area. Goodbye, ninja. Why do these ninjas always drop singular red gems, too? Never anything, like, super worthwhile. 
Also, in the original, those enemies actually shot their guns off faster. I don't know why they decreased the timer between them. And then there's certain enemies that come in the next world. Like, next, like, homeworlds levels that are way stronger than they used to be. Okay, we need to go back and get another one of those firework rockets. Um, they were... Wait, is that one right there? No, it was the firefly. Oh, yeah, down here, right? I'm pretty sure there was a closer one, but for some reason I just couldn't see it. Actually, there might not have been a... Oh, no, there was one right there, yeah. I thought there was one in that room. Okay, so if you blow them up too close to you, they they do hurt you. Okay. Double kill. Who doesn't like getting a good double kill on some ninjas, though? I'm pretty sure this is the end of this challenge. It is. It's just a random egg sitting here. Woohoo! Egg. And it's Sam I Am. I don't like green eggs, Sam I Am. Alright, now we can go to the other one, and then we can leave the level. So the other one is over here with the gold gem over on this pathway. And, yeah, we can go in here. And our mission for this one is to defeat these dragons. And by the way, you have infinite power. Oh yeah, by the way, these dragons can and will hurt you, so be careful. And they do regenerate over time, so if you're not quick enough killing them, they will regenerate their power. And, oh my god. I hate these things so much sometimes. I don't remember them attacking them as much as they do in the remake. This challenge is definitely more difficult. Okay, weird... Wait, did I actually take damage or did I just get knocked down? I think I had just gotten knocked down. I think that's all that was, was me getting knocked down. So now we're just going to wait here and hope that... Yeah, he comes through there. Wait, I didn't think they could go down the same hole together. I've never seen them go down the exact same hole but before. Yeah, and this is the entire challenge. Each segment takes, I think... Yeah, it takes one hit. But there's so many segments. Also, I feel like the purple one doesn't really attack you. I don't know if it's because of the color and that. There we go, he's dead. Now I guess it's time to see if the purple one actually does attack us or not. There we go, that's some good damage on him, and then he's gonna come through this tunnel, obviously. Fire in the hole, Mr. Dragon. It's also weird that. We're destroying Chinese dragons as a whatever kind of dragon we are. All we know is the purple dragons are supposed to be special, so... I don't know what kind of dragon Spyro is, but... This is a purple Chinese dragon. So does that make him special amongst the Chinese dragons of, of lore? And there we go! Apparently, Evan is lava resistant. Nice. Now, there should only be two more eggs. Yeah, and now we can just go and grab the rest of the gems that are around here. And then we can leave and go to the next home world. Which we all know is going to have a boss fight in between, because let's, let's be real. They wouldn't just do it two times and then call it a day, right? Spyro is known to have bosses in every world, no matter what game you're playing. Despite one of the games only literally having three boss fights. Spyro 1 still has more boss fights. Spyro 3 actually has five. But you'll have to figure out what the last one is, because it's not the same typical one. Also, why is that gem... Wait. This is a hit... This is a wall right here. This, 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 there's a big gap between the real wall and the invisible wall. Nice. Gotta love when games do that. I always thought this level was kind of janky. Also, are there really no gems down here? Go figure, we'd waste our time down here, right? Okay, and then we'll just bonk our head off the wall a few dozen times. And we'll go and grab all these gems. Alright. 
And yeah, that seems to be about right for the amount of gems, I'm pretty sure. Yep, okay, we'll leave here. And pouring down there, yep. I think we literally have everything, so let's leave the level. Luckily, the egg opened up a new pathway for us to take, so that is good. That is excellent. And now we can go through here and be done with it. Oh, I almost walked up the cliff because I was looking at my recording instead. There, and now we should be able to take on the boss. I think I beat every level. 5,225 gems. Nice. This is the last time we're going to have to backtrack, too. Oh, yeah, and in this game, if you did technically get everything... You would be spoken to, but since you're underwater, you, they can't come and talk to you. So if you did Bentley's level last, you could technically get the uh, cutscene to go to the next world. But right now, no, not so much. So anyways, let's go to Midnight Mountain, my favorite homeworld in all of Spyro, which also has my favorite level in all of Spyro. Rocket, blast off. I assume we're going to have a cutscene, right? At least I think. And you never actually see her transform them this time. But yeah, this is in the bones of a freaking whale or something. Yeah, and it turns into a bat creature. Alright, Mr. Smarty Pants. So yeah, he's kind of like Sergeant Bird, where he'll create items for you to actually damage the enemy. And you can't damage him when he has that shield up. That weird... Yeah, that weird electric one. Also, they never give you the green one right away. Wait, how did that... It's supposed to home in, but for whatever reason it didn't home in. This one's technically better anyway, because you can multi-hit them if you're lucky. Uh, go! Wait. Multiple eggs? No. Hello, Krabby. Come here, Krabby. And there we go. Eventually, he's gonna start doing stuff with his shield open, as if, like, he gets weaker and weaker. Oh, great. Oh, by the way. He doesn't only summon crabs, if you're if you're wondering about that. The camera angle is what's weird. Also, I didn't think we killed all the crabs, but I guess I did. 
Huh, go. Oh, scary. Fire. That was right. They are supposed to home in. And wait, no, there is a crab left. It's a buzz. Buzz, why are you in this level? Buzz, get lost. Go die, Buzz. I love how, like, instead of a cutscene like there originally was, it just is that. Don't tell me it's another Buzz. Oh no, it's this thing. This thing is just annoying. I thought I picked up the green one. I guess I didn't pick up the... Balls. And there we go, he's dead. And in the original, there was like a triple cutscene where like he would fall in three times. We got James. James Bond. Alright, now we get to go blast off again. Alrighty, on to Midnight Mountain we go. Pretty epic. Pretty darn sweet. Spyro's got a booty doop to do booty doop doop doo do booty. Alright, that's a pretty long cutscene. Oh. Yay, he's free at last. Alrighty, and we made it here to Midnight Mountain. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, join the Discord and Patreon links below. And in the next episode, we'll be exploring Midnight Mountain. Bye-bye.